So hi everyone, this is Jessica from the Achievement Squad coming at you with a Life is Strange double exposure guide and I'm going to show you the location of all the collectible items So what are we game. looking for? So first off, we are looking for snapshots. The first one I'm is story so related, you can't Sophie miss it. The second place. one is this next to Sophie in this area. Press B on it and then press How right trigger to take a picture of your camera place? and save that one. So you get one snapshot, automatic is part of the story and then the second one is this ghostly like figure on the wall. Once you've done that one, you want to turn around and go over to the bowling alley and take a picture of this one. God, I haven't been bowling since I was little. John Whittle's ninth birthday. Next Figure up, we're going to go grab a decoration, and the decoration is directly behind you. So you want to take a right and cover across the broken part of the Good roofing area. Uh, and as you come around, oh, you're going to walk past the tarpaulin. Don't pull it just yet. Uh, leave it be. And you're going to see this little demonic-looking statue in the middle. You want to investigate it, suck. and then directly in front of you Something on the uh, on the shelf is department. the decoration you want to pick up. I told you this place was the portal. It's not like any. Well, I could never resist a deal. From the decoration, you want to turn around and go after the bowling shoes kind of area. Uh, and you want to go down on the right hand side and you want to grab a picture Behold. of the bowling shoes. And then the next one, we're going to progress a little bit further on. So after you've brought down the tarpaulin, was... uh, you'll find your next snapshot, which is story related. But it is grabbing a big picture of Figure the what your focus uh, is hidden thing yet. underneath the tarpaulin at the top of the bowling alley. We are now in the turtle bar and we're going to grab some collectibles. Our first collectible is to the left of the total, so uh, turtle graffiti and it is the Polaroid that is just by the back door here. You want to take that one. Uh, and then we're going to go after our art restoration achievement which is only getting uh, available in this chapter. So head back towards where you were sat just with Yasmin a second ago. And just to the right of the stage, you're going to see a piece of artwork hanging up on the wall. You need to read the handwritten note first of all to trigger this interaction to happen. And then you'll need to, to turn the painting above this that up to the right way. I admire her commitment to a bit as much as the next girl. But the bit here is just confusing. From there, turn around and make your way back past the turtle graffiti and on the other wall where there's the pirate pink picture, uh, you're going to find another piece of artwork that you can flip up in the right direction. From here, head back towards the bar and you want to take a left at the, the uh, kind of little interjunction just there. So by the turtle picture, take a left and in amongst the two gents that are sat on the sofa little bit area, you want to look at the robot painting and fix that one to get the achievement. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. We are now going to go after our next two snapshots and we'll be up on this roof here. And you're going to have our good friend Moses. You want to grab a picture of him in his natural state. Don't talk to him yet, just grab the picture. So and then there goes the same for Safi. So once you've taken a picture of Moses, go over to Safi, take a picture of her. Do not talk to her because you will miss this if you do so.
Once that is done, you'll need to speak to Safi and we're going to set in motion the bottle cap related achievement. So after you've spoken to Safi, she's going to tell you about a secret that she's keeping. Go speak to Moses and he's going to give you a bottle cap. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part... Okay. You've got How that bottle cap. You want to look to Safi? the area where you guys were sitting in the beginning. And just to the left of the chair with the red scarf on it, you're going to find some sour candy Safi that you want to examine. She can't slip away examine that, and then you want to rotate the box so you can see inside, and you place the bottle cap on the inside. Once you've done that, you want to go over to Safi and offer her some sweets. Now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. So speak to Safi and hey, this Safi. will get yourself the achievement when you offer her the sour candy. Want a piece of candy? There's a few left. No. Twist my arm. <sighs> Shit. It's a conspiracy. Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her... Support. Our next snapshot is not missable. Uh, it's part of the story. It'll be prompted by Moses. You want to grab a picture of the moon. And then after that, there's going to be a little bit of a cutscene, but you're going to cut... What is it? I'm going to cut that out so you don't see it. We're down on the main path. Follow the path all the way to the end, staying on the left-hand side. Do not go towards the statue of Atlas. Stay on the left, and you want to grab the Polaroid collectible that is on the floor. <laughs> nice. But who planted the bottle cap? Your next collectible uh, snapshot is going to be also un story related. You can't miss this one. It's a grab a photograph of the owl that sits on the top. Now, after a big chunk of progression, we are going to be in our house. Make your way down the stairs, and we're going to go over to where the telescope is sat by the big window. And by that big window, we'll find a Polaroid that we can collect. Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Or a Neb hater like Safi. And after we've got that Polaroid, we are going to go after our decoration and... As part of the progressing of the main Better chapter, you'll do some cleaning up and you'll see these photos appear on the floor as you're moving your mem Arcadia Bay memories around. Make your way back over to the sofa and you want to pick up these memories and take them up to the bedroom oh, Joyce, and place them on and the wall. In the Pacific Northwest, but never... Better get these tidied up too before Amanda gets here. Maybe putting these memories up will make it hurt less. Or maybe I'm just a masochist. After a little bit more progression, you'll be outside the university again. You'll walk forward and Reggie is going to throw a box on the floor. You'll yeah. want to pick that box up and return it to him. And then you're going to have to initiate a little bit of puzzle solving with him. So give him it's the box yours, back uh, and initiate the conversation around the box. And then he's going to ask your help with solving it. So, Step one to solve this is you need to look at the eye. A bit of an eye for detail, huh? Inspection onto the detail. You will then want to find the picture of the founder. It's the dude that is sat with a crow on his shoulder. This is supposed to be that And then they're going to say that there, there's a mistake right? with it. The founder statue? And then you're going to need to find yeah, and rotate the box until so. you find the next Where's crow. This other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, Once I that's done, that's going to prompt any discussion with Reggie uh, when you click on the bird to get it removed. Missing crow. Is that wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Once that's removed, we then want to rotate the box to find the uh, the founder again. And once we found the founder, place the bird on top 
and that is going to cause the box to change and you're going to find another box inside the box. A second test. Of course. All right. Catch you later, Reggie. Now we are going to go after our next decoration. So this is decoration number two. You want to follow the main path around to the founder's statue and in front of the founder's statue is a bench and you want to use that bench uh, to pick up a piece of origami that is available there and you need to unfold it twice. Once you've unfolded it that will pick it up for you. Unfold me? I might not be able to fold it back. Unfold me? I might not be able to fold it. Where is this going? I see. It's a haiku. I wonder who made this. So once you've unfolded your origami, you're going to make your way into the building and we're going to do a bit of snooping on Loretta's laptop to get a bit of insight into her projects. So projects are things that we've got to find throughout the game that also count towards an achievement. We're in the FAB, as they call it, and you'll find the laptop just wide open on one of the coffee tables and you want to take a good look at it. You don't? Not sure I'd leave my stuff lying around like this. Oh, Loretta must have left this to finish uploading. Damn, girl's got a lot of fans. And now that that's over, we're going to go back into the main admin building and we're going to help out a gentleman by the name of Vin. Vin is the receptionist to Yasmin, so speak with Vin. Uh, and he's going to give you Howdy, a, a bit of a side task to go and find a parcel. Howdy. We need to do this also to unlock an achievement later on. So this will get you the male gaze guess. achievement, but there's a second she achievement you, later that you can get as a result of this behavior. So talk to Vin uh, and accept his quest to go get the package. Through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. Listen. I'm I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but she was an amazing person, and we're all going to miss her. Issues? Now, from Vin, exit out, and we're going to go straight towards the other end of this corridor that's directly in front of us. But we're going to take the first door that is on the left-hand side, and that is going to be the mail room. So when you go in, take a left, then look at the mail bin, and then look into it this and then you'll see the, the parcel inside take the parcel about. out and then return that back to, to vin and that is at the end of everything that is missable for chapter one aha uh -huh. Here you go. Saved you the trip. Next up, we have a clue after What's... this one. Uh, you'll need to go back into the FA build, FAB building after you've spoken with Vin and Yasmin. And the Abraxas guys are going to be hanging out just here. And you can grab the flower or the rose off of the but why are we table. Out I don't really understand how this is a clue. But it is. And now from the Abraxas guys, we're going to go into the mailroom that is just behind them. And on the floor is a letter that we need to pick up. That letter is a clue and we can place that. Uh, so first of all, we start that oh, by looking there. at it. We'll Which go to pick it up and then we need to try and place it in Dr. Gwen's uh, pigeonhole. Once you try and do that, 
you'll be given the option like of whether you want to put this class. clue into the slot or to keep it, and you want to pick the option of uh, keep it. Of course the sender doesn't put a name on it. D in this name. Gwen Hunter, PhD. Dr. Gwen Hunter, DGH. Wait a sec. This is about that book that got moved to the display case. So the book Gwen needed had a message inside it. I think I'm gonna hold on to this. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. So we're now shifting over to chapter two. We're gonna be in the bar with Yasmin and Safi, I'm and you want to turn around and grab a picture of them? What's this? Uh, this? Having no lunch? I still can't believe it was supposed to be a candid. <laughs> You'll never catch me alive. Now, from that table, we're going to make our way to the back of the bar and go by the bathrooms or the Where's toilets. Where's that sound restrooms. coming from? Where you're from? And as you make your way to the very back, there is a apparently uh, a, one of the doorways to the other dimensions that you have in front of you. So you the dimension where Saki is dead. Uh, and once you've done that, you want to make your way into the bar. Directly in front of oh, the turtle. There's another Amanda. If I can chat picture, with both, you're gonna find a then maybe I can the figure table, out what's changed. Uh, and you want to pick that one up. In We're now the gunning for the loyal flush achievement, which is gonna require us to Dr. get somebody Yasmin into Fiala a bathroom. Out. So we want to, to make our way to the back of the bar. If I could look at that skull up and close, I could outside, learn something. This is in the living world, for the record. So, when you're outside, you'll see two guys with nerf guns. You want to really try and talk to them, it's not going to work. Hey, do you have the bathroom key? Uh. So once that's done, head back yeah. into the could I rest room. Grab that from area, you? And we're going to make a switch we're using to it. the other world. We'll put it back when we're done. Timeline. You're using it? Yup. They are definitely up to something with that key. Not that they're going to talk about it with me standing here. I should use my power to look in on them. From... Dead World. And once you've done that, you want to make your way out. Oof, a doof. And you're going to go onto the patio, and you want to go to where those guys would have been stood in the living timeline. And you want to drop through the uh, skill, I don't know what it's called, but press the so right bumper, R1, to listen to the discussion. The bathroom, and we Oh shit. This must be that big assassin game all the undergrads play. They're using the bathroom key as bait. Doubt they'll just give that up. Where else could I get a replacement key? And once it's over, you want to make your way back into the snapping turtle. I have a bit of a funny five minutes here. Um, I don't pick up the key for the bathroom successfully. I try to go to the wrong way. Don't follow me. Um, what you actually need to do is go to the just the very left of the bar. And you'll see a key that is hanging up on the wall. And you want to grab that key and we're going to go back into the other timeline. Once 
put you back in that other timeline, you would have placed that key your on the wall just there, I and like you're going to get took a of flush achievement. Sophia? Tim, the key's back. Pink? Fuck. You're welcome, dude. Next up, we're going to get a clue from Safi. Uh, and Another piece of shit pie. So really Someone... Hold on, it's show it to you anyway. easier if I just show you. Jesus. Fuck, Safi. Is that your car? Charming, right? Found it this morning. Do you have any idea who did it? No. But if I ever find out, it's on site. We're now going to be back on campus and we're going to grab our next Polaroid. So don't go inside just yet, make your way down to the very end and under the uh, wooden canopy you're going to find a set of benches and on those benches you are going to find the Polaroid you would like. I need to ask around about Safi's car. That's my handwriting. Wait, am I the mystery photographer? Now we are going to grab a, another snapshot, so turn around from here, we're going to make our way back towards the main statue in the middle. Abraxas was at the snapping tur- Go past Vin and his cronies and over the bridge and then you're going to see a snowman with a hat and a scarf on it who's finally complete. We're going to grab a snapshot of that one. Men, what's stopping you from dressing like this? And now we're going to go for the Platypus achievement. This is the starting point of this achievement. You'll get it at the end of the game. Uh, you want to make your way from the snowman back towards the statue of the, the dude. And you're going to find the rift that you can enter just to the right of the statue. Once you've gone in, you have to make your way to the left and there is a tree with a blue note on it. And you want to read the flyer and sign up to this. Now the way this achievement Daily works is every time facts. that you're in the timeline is where Safi has passed been missing away, all my you will life? get a random text from a platypus fax thing. You just need to go in and read Honestly, the message. How so often at the do end opportunities of every, each day, like this come along? Make sure that you just go through and read every platypus message that you have. So next up we're going to be in the admin building, which is just shortly after that last collectible. And we're going to make our way to the right of the closed off stairs. Uh, and at the base of those stairs you're going to find a stress relief kiosk. Look inside is that, that a and therapist's you grab business the, card? Uh, I'll bet some the folks on the other side could use that. The doctor. And now that you've done that, we want to make our way into the library section. Uh, and in this section we're going to grab three decorations all at the same time. And they are on these statues, these busts that you see around. Somebody is going to attach some funky mustaches to them. You want to grab them all. There are three in total. Back to normal. Dignity restored. And not even a thank you, rude. Okay, and now we're over in the fab building. Uh, we're supposed to be going into Gwen's office, but before we do that, in the timeline here, pretty we'll sure find, you need a uh, time machine we'll to find even a dual find tone a phone booth phone now. That we want to grab a picture of. This is also another student's project. So once you've got your picture, you want to go and interact with the phone on the right-hand side. Uh, so you want to look at it and then you'll want to interact with it and you'll be able to leave a message for your future self. Damn. I didn't know a phone booth could feel like a personal attack. This looks like one hell of an art final. I should check it out.
Okay, uh... What do I want to say to the future? And once that's done, you want to go around the other side of the phone box for this to fully count. So you want to hear from the past. What he's doing is wrong. It always felt like it was. But now I know it's true. I was... And in the same area, we're going to go to the back of this uh, room. And just by the tree, you're going to find a tablet that is just laying there by the tree. You'll want to listen into that. You want to listen to the full discussion. Uh, and that is another one of the crime story of the century. You will see my achievement up there. But that doesn't mean you're going to get the achievement if you're following along from the beginning. Uh, you can chapter select and go back and get things later, which is what I've done for this particular Gwen uh, was clip here. So moving on, we are now in Gwen's office. I know uh, the there's some clue. There is a plant that I need to water in this room. And it's in the corner. By the fish tank. Drink up, buddy. On her bookshelf, you're going to find a snapshot for the platypus. It's like a bumper sticker evolved into a bookend. And in the living world, you're going to find a memoir by Gwen on her desk. I had decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Hell of an opening line, Gwen. Once you're done interrogating Gwen somehow, uh, we're going to be speaking with ex Lucas as part of the story, uh, and we're in the dead world. Um, he'll have a stack of books on his desk after you've spoken to him. Talk to him about the books. After it's an excellent them, cover, isn't and it? And then he's going to offer you one of the signed Guess that explains why his signature was on the thing. It sure leaves an impression. Henceforth, when I see a cow skull, I will think of Lucas Colmenero. You can have that copy if you want. It's already signed. If Lucas really is somehow involved, this might come in handy. Next up, we are going to vandalize his little cardboard cutout. You'll need to do this as part of the story, so the expo stand. Uh, when you do that, that's gonna get <laughs> I bet Lucas attention. would really hate so if something this, happened to this. That you're now, what can I use to do some permanent desk. damage? Marker, then go use it on his cutout. Dare I channel my inner Chloe? So whether both options of graffiti here count towards the achievements, I'm going to show them to you both, and you can get them through chapter select. Uh, you need to now. vandalize it. Pick one of the options. And then you can the classics do are classics for a reason. to come back and pick the other option. That oh you my! Can do. So in this case, I picked the devil. Grab the path of the uh, huh. the cutout. The devil really uh, is in the details. I think both count towards the achievement. I'm not sure, uh, but you'll find out uh, as you play through this. Now. K. Oh my goodness. You should see the other guy. So we're now back in the admin building, progressing our arc along with. Bin. So there is a portal on here, and we need to be in the dead world. Let's make sure that you're there. Make your way in, and he's going to be sat on the sofa, and you'll have the opportunity to grab a snapshot of him before you talk to him. Pick a card, any card, or whatever. 
And now he is going to ask you, or you're going to be discussing about caching in your favor. Uh, you want to say save it for later, and that is going to bag you the achievement I have a favor question. saver. Um, and Do yeah, you, know you can use it again later on to your advantage. Dead magician scientist? Jack Parsons, occultist rocket scientist? Oh, maybe. What about him? Nothing. Progressed on from the school, and we're going to be heading back up to where Safi got shot. And in this timeline, in this tree, uh, this isn't there, but um, there is a bear mug that is wedged into the tree. So make your way up the hill, and you want to use the portal just here to switch. And in the living world, head back to that tree, and you're going to find a photograph, uh, sorry, a photograph opportunity of Wait, this bear mug wedged into a tree. Mug. It's the one Safi drank from during the meteor shower. This goes against everything I learned in horror movies. No one's getting that back. Pushing I mean, on from that tree, on, uh, just after the, the main There's gate. There's a place to the, cross back over on the, the way. Cop is hanging out. You're gonna make your way and you're gonna find some candy on the floor. This uh, looks a lot like Sophie's favorite candy, but hers is called Sour and Cats, you need to not Heart Stoppers. Uh, and I believe that is a clue. This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should check for more weird shit. Our next project is on the main pathway I don't think you can miss this so when you are in the living world and you go up to the top of the hill the oh, artwork has collapsed onto right the pathway oh, and you can inspect I have it some good news uh, it's big but I can't tell you what it is. why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito F's in the chat for a sanctuary a three-dimensional exploration the bigger the art project the more of the path it blocks when it falls. Once you've done that, you want to continue up the hill, and we are going to find a Polaroid on the bench at the top, just while Gwen is hanging out. And once you've done that, you will be having a discussion with Gwen, and you want to prevent her from burning the USB stick. What the fuck? Gwen, listen, if I can just get a look at this footage, I might be- Okay, and now we've progressed a bit further into the story. We're in this sneaking moment where we're in Moses' lab. And we're in the dark world. On the right-hand side by the computer is a picture. <sighs> uh, and then we're gonna grab our next piece of project and snapshot, which is counts one and the same. But the big mural- I think I need Moses' help. Back. Is exactly I should that. go talk so to him. You want to look up to it. You want to grab a snapshot hmm. of it. So It'd be better from another possible. angle. Make just your way ask upstairs, Moses. Uh, and there is a opportunity to take the shot from the top of the balcony. Moses and Safi. So different. Once you're done stealthing it, you're going to be in an engagement with the cop and you're going to get the option to agree or refuse. You want to agree in this situation with him. Sure. Of course. If I notice anything, I'll let you know. I'm glad to hear it. And I'm sure Doc. Back at home. Uh, and we are going to be grabbing ourselves our next Polaroid, which is on the stereo. And then shortly after that, we are going to go for the next thinking outside of the box achievement. Um, so the box we picked up in chapter one, if it's following the right way, make your way into the kitchen and it's on the back cabinet. This is your new power, Max Caulfield. Saving lost cats in other dimensions. Time to greet our furry friend. So to solve this, we want to find the side that has lots of lines on it. I should check on the cat. I need to go find the cat in the other timeline. Once you have the constellation side, you'll need to hey, drag the lines can down. Can I move to those pegs? The constellations. 
I hope the cat's okay. I should check on the cat. Hey, something just Grab happened. Grab the wheel that pops out of the it panel. It sounded like a we're panel go place popped that open. On one of the other faces. A disc with some symbols. Where have I seen this before? There has to be somewhere to pop this in. And then copy what I do, and we rotate those panels until they hit a certain position. Well, well, well. Uh, so Max just, Caulfield. Just you rotate them Clever until they've got the same picture position Wait, as myself. And does the outer dial the move now? It does. And so does the inner one. This means I'm in, right? I'm official Abraxas material? Our next plant is here, uh, so it's apologies for the backtracking, but it's in the far corner by the stereo. So, the dead world for this to work, so the living world for this to work. Uh, it's just the um, the very back. It's the big tall plant. You want to click on the water option here, and it's going to bag you the achievement. Now I believe the next snapshot is completely optional, but we're going to let the cat into the flat, uh, so by opening that one up. Now the name and the type of cat doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. Make your way into the kitchen and you're going to grab the food out of the cabinet to feed the cat. This should do the trick. Once that's done, you want to make your way into the living room area and we're going to make a place for the cat to rest. So there's a cushion and we're going to set that up for the cat after we inspect it. Do cats like cushions? You then can grab the snapshot of the cat. Hey Daisy. Once it's over, we're going to push Mind forward with the Mind if I get story. a photo? You'll be in a conversation with our good friend I've Moses been better. and what we're going to do with Moses is essentially say I'm not going to cooperate despite the fact we told the cop we're going to cooperate and that is going to bag us. I apologize for what I said to that detective. You have to know I wasn't being serious. I was only trying to take the easy way. It's nice when you have that option. You know what? It's fine. Okay, so shifting gears into the next chapter and we're going to be back at the lookout point and Whilst we're up here, we're going to find a patch of snowdrops know, on the floor. Do you want to grab a photograph? To say about this. Now, progress on and back at the university. We're going to be in the fab building and we're going to go after a highly missable uh, tree photograph here. So we want to grab a picture of this one. So make your way to the back and use the stained glass window. She's going to prompt you to move to a different location. Make your I way to the front of the tree and stand between the two benches for the prime opportunity. This is a lot prettier than my usual work, but... Your next Polaroid is opposite the coffee stand. So turn around. This is the first Polaroid of this chapter. And you can just find it kicking about there. 
We are now going to make our way into Gwen's office from here. So about turn and then right. And we're going to enter the room which the cop is sat next to. Sorry, no, the guy is sat next to. Uh, and we'll make our way into the room and we can grab a photograph of the record player. Old school. Nice. And now we have our next book. So speak to Gwen as you come in. And <clears throat> depending on how your story's gone, if you've been Is nice with Gwen, she'll so give you the manuscript. Or if you've fallen out with her, you'll need to shift to the dark world and take the manuscript out of her drawer. So read the manuscript once you've got hold of it. Reading. Next up, we have a another collectible. So this is Polaroid number two. We are in the admin area. Make sure that you're in the dead world. And once you've done that, we want to make your way to where Vin is normally hanging out. And on his desk, you are going to, sorry, not on his desk, but you'll go to his desk in a second. But to the right of his desk, you're going to find a Polaroid. And then there is the a snapshot hedgehog, opportunity on his desk with the exactly the same hedgehog. Enjoys its rest after a full day's work for the kahuna. Say cheese, little guy. After some big progress, we are going to be in Lucas's room, and he's not going to be in here. Okay. First off, we're going to grab the snapshot of the typewriter. And once you've done with the Probably snapshot of the typewriter, if you already years. saw it, there is a Polaroid like to Lucas. its left that you can grab. And That's the next collectible is actually story related. Um, so you can't miss this, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. When you are working on uh, getting the original copy of Lucas's book, let's say, uh, to avoid spoilers, you want to make your way over to the golden typewriter, open that up, and then Max will automatically grab a snapshot of this, uh, but also read Lucas's book at the same time. We are now in the bar and our next Polaroid is on the left hand side. Now the next part is going to involve some pretty big decisions that change the way the game play out. Uh, that can also have an effect on some of the this snapshots that we get later in the game. So in this situation I choose to romance both Amanda and Vin. That's going to get the romantically what? entangled achievement. Um, you do get an achievement for romancing none of them. Or you get uh, an achieve two achievements for romancing either one of them. So an achievement for romancing just Amanda, and an achievement for romancing just Vin. Now the way that this affects the story, and I'm sorry, there's a small spoiler warning in effect. Um, but if you romance Vin, Reggie will see this and he will change his tone towards you, uh, meaning he'll be in a different place for a snapshot later in chapter five. So you will need to chapter select back this far and. But repeat that same scene I'm also so here. in this one I'm actually romancing Amanda right now so and that would if you were just romancing an Amanda and Amanda alone you would get the a nice girl who runs a bar achievement when you shift over to the uh, deadline uh, there is Vin sat by the bar and you'll also see Reggie in the corner um, but you'll be also able to romance Vin at this point in time so I choose both to get the romantically entangled achievement. Come here. Whatever, I'm drunk. Now that's done, you want to grab a snapshot of Vin. I better cross my river in case Sophie's pulled off and is trying to reach. Just one for the road. Sorry to kiss and run, Vin. And once you have your snapshot of Vin, you want to sniff on to a snapshot 
of Amanda in the living world. Just pretend like I'm not even here. Your next snapshot that you will grab uh, is entirely optional if you've got the DLC, uh, but your cat is kicking it on top of the fridge. So make your way in after you've got home and it's been a bit ransacked. Grab a pap of the cat on the fridge if you need to. You're scared. Miso, say tuna fish. Maybe not the best time for a photo op, but you're so cute. Once that's done, we're going to take a shift over to the living world and grab the Polaroid from the back of the room by the chair. I must bid you adieu. Make good choices, or you know, don't. What the? Looking for these? Really, Max? Most. Okay, so next chapter, and we're gonna go straight after Polaroid number one. These chapters are getting shorter in terms of the work effort because there's less missable achievements in this kind of stuff at this point in time. So, scoot on over to the other world. Uh, and we're going to be in the dead world where there's no Safi. And on your back counter by your art stand, you're going to find a Polaroid. Uh, if you've got the DLC, you're going to make your way upstairs from this point God, onwards. So and you can grab a I snapshot a of your cat thing. as well as pet the cat. Uh, I also had a change of attire uh, and a change of cat as well because I had to replay the game to get some of my achievements to pop. So grab a picture of your cat uh, with the snapshot. And then pet it. Iris, let's immortalize the moment. Can Have we been through enough together? Can I get a high five? Literally the best moment of my life. Next up, we're going to be at the Krampus event, and just to the right of Reggie, there is a guy just as Krampus that you need to grab a pap of. Hey, long time no. Assassin team up. If I literally saw you yesterday. Oh. Just feels like it's. Krampus, young man. No. Say cheese, Krampus. You also can grab a shot of the stage. So turn around and grab a shot of that one. Yeah. No. I should change the framing. And now we're going to go give back our cat. Um, this is optional, you don't have to do it, but you'll That's get an achievement if you do, because it's the right thing to do. So make your way to the back of the bar and by the exit door there is a poster is that truth? is about a cat. You want to look at the poster and that is going to bag yeah. you the achievement Maybe uh, turned for up something giving though. back the cat. Has Miso been a distinguished artist his whole time? Let me shoot. Once you're done with that, talk to Moses and Diamond and ask them about how their game's going. Once you've done that, that's going to open up the opportunity to grab another snapshot of them. 
party. See you guys. Still need to talk to Gwen. Roll for charisma. This one first, then you can play that one. And then. So make your way to the other timeline and we're going to grab the Polaroid that is by the stage in the back corner. Now, there is, for this run of the game, you need to bear in mind when you're working on distracting Reggie for the projector, you must not choose the VIN option. Uh, if you are playing through to get the missing, uh, like I said, where you have to replay from chapter three, you need to make sure that you pick the option where you use VIN to distract Reggie. So if this is your first run, do not use VIN to distract Reggie. If this is your second run, you want to use VIN to distract Reggie. Now, after some progress uh, and after all of the projector stuff, we're going to be back in the living world and Moses in the other world will have busted up his his gingerbread house. You want to make your way to the back of the living world and speak to Safi and ask her for help with fixing the gingerbread house. Can I borrow Safi for a sec? What's up? So, other Moses is also making a gingerbread house? Oh, is he? Yeah, but his chimney broke. Mind if I take yours? How's he doing? Like, really? He's coping. My powers have been blowing his mind, but he misses you. Wish I could help him somehow. Moses is the only one I do this for. <sighs> this was a doozy to make. I love it. Once you've done that, return to Moses and you are going to give him that chimney. That's going to get you the home sweet home achievement and then there is another opportunity to grab a picture of him. Voila. Guess who it's from. It's for real? From the other side, from Safi. Thank you, Max. You're welcome. Be sure also to get update on your platypus facts at this point in time, because otherwise it's a point of no return. A true team effort. After a bit more bother, you're going to be outside and Loretta and Lucas are going to be chatting. The Polaroid you're looking for is on the arm of the green chair. <laughs> and our last Polaroid is in the midst all of the chaos within the school area, so the university, and we will have to go find a Polaroid amongst all this chaos. Make your way across to the covered up bench area, and it is inside here. People's headaches are getting worse. Okay, so we are now in chapter 5 and we are on that final stretch now and this chapter is a lot lighter on collectibles and miscellaneous achievements so make your way to the back of this area where Moses is and you can find the Polaroid just there 
you'll end up progressing a bit further forward uh, and you'll be in the Where bathroom at Blackwell, from? which is a bath from the past. Turn around and on the wall you'll find another Polaroid stuck to it. And then from there we're going to continue a lot further in uh, and you're going to be back at the bar with Amanda and in the bar we want to make a shift to the different timeline. Do not go out of the door at this point in time. Make your way to the back of the bar, uh, so the other side of the bar, the front of the bar actually in this case, and on the bench you're going to find your last Polaroid of the game. Why are you always in everybody's business? We were having a moment. Maybe she has a boy or is it king? Not like I'm one to king chain. Just ignore her. Where were we? You were going to tell me more about... And now we're in a place that is a little less chaotic. And if you've blocked Reggie from getting with Vin and interfered with the projector, He's going to be outside of this area. You want to be able to speak to him and grab a snapshot of him. Shortly after that, you'll be able to speak to Loretta and do the same thing. And this is what a large chunk of the last part of this game is, is just talking to people and grabbing a snapshot of them. Whatever. Just don't expect me to pose. Hi again. How are you doing? Loretta, can I grab a picture of you real quick? To immortalize this calamity of a semester? Sure, why not? Once you're done with Loretta, you want to make your way round the pond and directly go to the front of the building uh, by the founder statue, and we can grab the photograph of the founder statue. Uh... Not there yet. My position's off. This one requires you to stand in a particular spot, which is just to the left, facing towards the uh, I wonder how sunset feel about this or photo sunrise. I'm not exactly sure, years. but you'll be able to get a good shot from there. And we're going to be back at the bar now. So what you have to do here is do a round the room discussion so you have to go speak to every character in the room once you've spoken to them the snapshot opportunity will present itself um, I'm not going to rate every single one of these but speak to every person in Moses the bar um, before you ask Moses to and now uh, before you start giving an explanation exactly. of exactly what happened uh, and Moses is your trigger to help that but start off with speaking to Moses grab the snapshot and then go around and talk to everybody else in the bar um, you've not find Reggie in the bar at this time if you've been following my storyline and um, you should be able to find Gwen if you've been nice through nice to her throughout the game she'll be present in the bar also so Thanks I'm not going to rate this part because it's me just walking done. around grabbing a snapshot of everybody I'd like to get a photo for the end of the year mind if I okay I was hoping she'd be a little more enthused but do you blame Safi for what can I add you to my photo wall oh come on I look wrecked sure Vin in his natural habitat.
Mind if I take a snapshot to remember you by? One more photo for the road? Sure. You keep at this, I'm gonna have to start charging a modeling fee. Ha ha. Okay, so once you've done this, you are gonna be making your way back to chapter three, and you're gonna need to make sure that you do not romance Vin in the bar. And then press on forwards and make sure that you use Vin to distract Reggie on Loretta. the projector. So, Can and I that's going to cause a change of outcome. So when you get back to, to the school, this so the university in chapter semester? five, Loretta will be on her own and you'll be able to grab a, sure. screen, uh, a snapshot of Why her not? there. But the primary difference is that when you get to the bar, Reggie is going to be there with Vin and it's going to offer you a different snapshot, which is the final snapshot of the game for me. And that being said, once you're back here, you can go back so, photograph of Reggie and Vin. That should be your last snapshot of the game. I've been Hell just to get yes. from the team squad. If you find this guide useful, drop us a like, comment, collection. subscribe, and happy hunting. <laughs> They're kind of a cute couple, honestly.